Well, to discuss this, I'm joined from Paris by Anne Guducelli. She's the CEO of the consulting agency International Intelligence Cluster. Also in Paris is senior journalist Renaud Girard from Le Figaro newspaper. And in San Antonio, Texas, Mansour al kikhia He's the author of Libya's Gaddafi, The Politics of Contradiction. I thank you all for joining us here on The Newsmakers. A few things to get through. There's the French angle, the Libyan angle, and Gaddafi and the international community angle. So bear with me as we do this. Let me start with you first, Anne. This is not a good look for Nicolas Sarkozy. Do you think he took money from Gaddafi? Well, as you know, there is still a judicial uh, process in course, so uh, nobody can say that it's definitively... Uh, uh, I mean, the allegations are definitively uh, founded, so we have to wait a bit more uh, to see what the, the next investigation will uh, provide as proof uh, in order to, uh, to uh, charge him uh, formally. Uh, but sure, if the the instruction now is at that stage, that means that uh, they have got, I mean, the, the judge have got uh, more uh, information that push uh, them to uh, to reopen the, this uh, political uh, case. So sure, there is more and more, uh, mm -hmm. let's say, elements that are now uh, growing uh, against him, sure. Right. So, Renault, we have Ziad Takiyuddin, who says... He took the money in briefcases and helped sort of funnel it from Gaddafi's intelligence chief to Sarkozy's campaign. And back in 2011, Gaddafi's son, Saif al-Islam, saying at the time when the French were involved in the NATO intervention, hey, we want our money, money back because we have evidence that we funded Sarkozy's presidential campaign. With all of that in mind, are we seeing a situation where it's going to be very difficult, Renault, for Sarkozy to defend himself? As a matter of fact, um, this uh, Saif al-Islam said that, but he said that he had proofs and so on. But um, Nicolas Sa uh, Sarkozy said, and he's quite right on that point, said that um, the campaign, the uh, NATO campaign against his regime, lasted for more than six months, and he never produced the proofs that he uh, paid for this uh, 50 million for uh, the Sarkozy electoral campaign. So um, if it's true that if he had been Gaddafi and if he had been attacked by uh, Sarkozy because Sarkozy took the leadership to attack uh, Libya in March uh, 2011, um, if he had been uh, Gaddafi, I would have produced, I, I would have shown to journalists, and he did see many journalists, I would have showed them the proofs of um, the payment to uh, Sarkozy. The problem that Sarkozy has, as a matter of fact, because we have to speak of facts, is, is a, he had a young aide uh, for uh, Arab countries uh, at the Elysee Palace called Boris Boilon, very uh, young in the career. He has been appointed an ambassador to Tunis. Normally, you, uh, you appoint like quite old diplomats there. He was very young. And uh, this uh, gentleman was uh, arrested by um, uh, French custom officers uh, in a, uh, um, a railway station in Paris with a bag, um, going to Brussels with a bag with 400,000 euros uh, in cash, which is against the law in France. You cannot... Um, carry this kind of amount of, uh, of cash without a special authorization. And uh, he was not able to prove what was the origin mm -hmm. of this uh, euros in cash money. And an investigation said that it was uh, uh, never used banknotes that came from a Bank of Ireland and that the Bank of Ireland had given that money to the Bank of, uh, Central Bank of Libya. So uh, this is um, something that is very, uh, very serious for yeah, this gentleman, very, yes, Mr. Certainly. Boris uh, Boilon, who has been kicked off, kicked off the, uh, the, the, the the French service of France. Right. Um, but um, Sarkozy, there is no proof of Sarkozy, and and um, and he has a defense which is very strong, saying why Gaddafi. Uh, did not uh, produce this, uh, the, any proof that he 
had uh, he had um, uh, uh, that's paid a good point. Uh, Sarkozy that's a good point, and it's going to be interesting to see. Yeah, certainly, it's going to be interesting to see what the prosecutors come up with. Mansoor, help me understand and remind yes. us of the political context during this alleged period when when it happened, right, 2007. Because Gaddafi was international pariah, then he was yes. he was sort of back in international favor, doing business deals with everybody, funding Juventus FC. LSE in London, uh, had migrant deals with the UK and others. Would it have been likely at that time, 2007, that Gaddafi was sending money to his preferred candidates in political campaigns in Europe? Of course he was. We know that. Even his son, we know, safe, supported the, the Austrian, Austrian attempts at uh, getting, getting the, the Austrian leader I forgot his name now. The 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 the, 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 on the, left, the one on the right, but uh, th that that was po Gaddafi's policies. Gaddafi used his only asset, and this asset here is money, to support what he believed to be people he can use in the future. I mean, you, the, the the gentleman who spoke, there is no proof about Sarkozy. There might not be any proof, actual fact about Sarkozy He's taking money. But th but in this environment of where politics is really uh, uh, is no longer politics of, of the pass it, it all you need is to be accused and and you and you have enough enemies within within running against you or with you it is who will bring this up and use it against you in one way or another yes we should wait for for the agree for the, for the law to find out if the chap did actually take money or not but unfortunately even if you are innocent it'd be very difficult to un innocent yourself so Gaddafi, this this was Gaddafi's policy this is how Gaddafi conducted business not only in 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 Europe but across the world he had excess money and he used that money to buy influence oh, wow, through his sons through his organizations through corporations and and, and he didn't care he right. didn't care. I think he got a, a huge shock when Sarkozy did not support him. And, 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 and whatever, whatever Sarkozy did, I think me personally, as, as an individual, as, as, a, as a Libyan, I see, thank you, Mr. Sarkozy, even, for, even if he did take that money, that money is well spent on ridding Libya of dictators like that. Right. Okay, interesting point. And let me ask you, back, back in France, there are some who would say, well, Chirac was accused of receiving uh, suitcases filled with millions of dollars from African leaders like Laurent Gbagbo, for example, and others. Uh, mm -hmm. De Villepin mm -hmm. was accused mm -hmm. as well. So this is nothing new. These accusations have always been around that French politicians receive these suitcases, and it can never be categorically proven either way. Is that the reality? Yes, it's the fact, even if you go, uh, I mean, before in the past, uh, you can see that uh, another uh, president, like which, which was called uh, Valéry Giscard d'Estaing in the 70s, uh, when he was sure. elected, I mean, uh, he has got uh, also a kind of uh, a gift from uh, uh, Bokassa, which uh, was a, a leader of uh, a big African country. So, uh, I mean, uh, OK, but I, I will also add that it's a, a bit of old school method of financing or, uh, let's say, showing that we are friends in politics, you know, because you can see now a new form of, um, let's say, um, how to to, uh, to to have an influence in an election, and we can also look at what is go what was what is supposed to to happen in, in the U.S. with this story with the Russian uh, uh, play a role in the in the uh, election campaign. So. Not only is not specific to that period, right. uh, it's not only specific to Libya, and it's not only specific to France, it's just the point I wanted to say. Right. Uh, well, the, the interesting thing in that case, I mean the Sarkozy case, is what exactly, uh, what is the, 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 the uh, Libyan agenda in that story? I mean, those who are like Saif al Islam, who just after uh, uh, the decision of putting uh, Sarkozy, I mean, to indict uh, Sarkozy, well, he, he, sp he spoke again and saying uh, almost the same thing that he said right. uh, uh, years before that he has proof and, and so on. So, what we have also not only to see the, the French side, but also to, to see the, the Libyan side, right, and specifically certainly. those who were linked to, say, the Kadhafi regime. If it yes. was true, they clearly backed the wrong horse. 
Undoubtedly, because these guys ended up bombing them as part That's of the NATO, right. NATO right. campaign. Renault, if this That's is right. true, and again, of course, there's a legal process, and we are running out of time. We've got two minutes left. I want a final comment from Renault and a final one from Mansour. Renault, if this is true, will this be an earthquake to, the, to French democracy and the French political process, if it can be proved? Yes, of course. Uh, you know, Sarkozy is a former president. He was a candidate for the primaries. He lost them in the presidential campaign of uh, 2017. Um, he um, is, of course, a very important French politician. And, of course, if a, a, a former um, president of the Republic had been um, corrupted, it would have been a big scandal. But we have to... Um, he has to be proven uh, guilty, I mean, because he says that he is innocent. He will be... Um, uh, Talking, it will be talking the main uh, news uh, channel uh, at eight o'clock uh, Paris time mm -hmm. um, tonight. But of course, it would be a big shock. But what what is true also? It's now we have a new wave of politics. As uh, the lady said, it was like old time, old school politics. And now with uh, President Macron, nobody has ever said that he had been uh, financed by anybody. He, he goes by the rules, because what is very important in the French system, and we have to recognize that, is maybe some politicians are corrupted, like they are uh, everywhere in the world, in, including in Turkey, but we have independent justice, and uh, our justice does its job, and this is the... Uh, and, and whoever... Uh, and everybody is equal uh, in, right. um, um, in front of the law. Okay. And okay. Uh, this fair, is, I think, enough. the important point that we have to do, to make. Got your point. Mansour, very finally, for those who sometimes yes. think that influence only comes kind of north to south or from the west to so-called third world countries, if this can be proven correct and vindicated, is it, is it an opportunity to say, hold on, it happens the other way as well? where Western politicians get themselves influenced by uh, so-called third world leaders as well. Believe, believe me, Omran, you are so right. It actually happens more from the south to the north than north to the south. In fact, if you look at what Africans and what Arabs and what, and what other, other non-Europeans have given to European leaders in, in, in form gifts, in form millions and millions and millions of dollars. Now, they don't do it officially as bribes, of course not. They give them as gifts or give them an honor or whatever it is. But that money goes to them and they expect something in return. Now, some expect more than others. In the case of Gaddafi, they expected these politicians to follow his Dedicts and orders and rules, which they did not. But this is a normal case. This is politics. The assumption that politics is a clean field, that everything's hunky dory, it's not. It's a dirty politics. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. Well, we'll be watching and following the story very closely. I thank you all for taking the time to talk to us here on the Newsmakers. Hope to have you on the program again in uh, the not too distant future. Mansoor, Anne, and Renault. I'll see you soon.